Danny Whaler was a founding member of the Whalers alongside his childhood friend, the legendary Bob Marley, died at the age of 73. Bob Marley and the Whalers reggae group achieved international fame with reggae classics like Simmer Down and Steer It Up before Whaler left to go solo in 1974. The death of Neville Livingstone was confirmed by manager Maxine Stoy and Jamaica's culture minister Olivia Grange. While the cause of death is unknown, Batty had been in hospital since having a stroke in July 2020, which is believed to be linked to the disappearance of his wife of years, Maxine Stoy. I have worked closely with my father and his manager for many years. However, since the disappearance of Jean Watt, aka Sister Jean, my father's wife of over 50 years on May 23rd, 2020, I have become suspicious of Maxine's behavior. While I have not said anything publicly to date, I have made my suspicions known to her and the police. After months of father's skeptical behavior and her recent promotions concerning my father and I without our knowledge, or approval, I now have to address this publicly. As Sid Danaki, who himself is a singer, said the stress of Jean Watt's disappearance caused Bunny to suffer a second stroke in July 2020, which according to him, left the legendary artist medically incapacitated. This harsh reality has not stopped Maxine's story from making decisions without my consent or that of my siblings. On Friday, February 2021, I was forwarded an article from the website dancehallmanagement.com alerting me of a relaunch of my father's solo catalog, he said. Last week, Story had told Dancehall Mag of plans to make Bunny Whaler's solo catalog, which has been off the market for at least two decades, available on all the digital service providers. But now that move seems to be in limbo given the tone and tenor of Abijah Asedinaki leaving sons later. Asedinaki claimed that these plans were never finalized with his father, himself, or any of Bunny's other children. This is something my father, Maxine, and I have discussed for years that somehow was never finalized while my father was still functioning. According to this article, now his entire catalog is suddenly ready for Spotify, T-shirts branding, the whalers, imagery, and a host of other plans that I nor my father played any part in making. This decision also begs the questions, why relaunch Bunny Whaler's solo catalog and focus the branding around the whalers? And why am I only privy to this by the published article? Were contacts made with the estates of Bob Marley or Peter Tosh? The statement queried. None was made with Bunny Whaler's children, the statement said. He continued, over the years, I have worked with my father in different areas as a jack of all trades. While my father and Maxine managed his finances together, the execution of most, if not all projects over several years were completed by myself and the hardworking team that I assembled, which also included some of my siblings. Bunny Whaler's son claims that his father in a statement, he wished to make it publicly known that, that I'm no longer a member of the Whaler's trio and I've informed Maxine of this since Sister Jeannie's disappearance. As such, my image and lightness must be removed from all promotional material. With my absence and my father's current state, she has no whalers linkage. That any organization contacting business with Maxine's story must know that she is acting on her own agenda, as I have not been consulted. Neither has my sibling or my father, as he is currently incapacitated. The well label stroke brand that she is promoting is legally registered to my father and I. Maxine's story therefore does not have any anatomy to conduct any business without our authorization. That there has been no transparency or accounting done by Maxine's story in regards to my father's affairs since his hospitalization in July after many requests from his children. 
Abidya also announced that he is the executor of his father's living trust. My father in his own wisdom chose me as his executor in his living trust, demonstrating his confidence in me. Now at a time when he is incapacitated and unable to walk or speak for himself, I must act in his best interest and on behalf of his children, the statement said. The statement which was reshared several hundred times on Facebook then touched on Bunny's finances and state of his health and treatment prior to his passing today. He also lobbed a number of accusations of impropriety at Stowe claiming that he had lost all confidence in her stewardship. The statement continued. Finally, to be clear, the family of Bunny Whaler is committed to our father's recovery and the preservation of his legacy. It is not our intention to disparage anyone but to allow for transparency which has been denied. We have tried to arrange meetings between ourselves and Maxine to amicably resolve these matters but have been repaid with only avoidance. My father and the family have been in despair since Sister Jean's disappearance. The reward offered for any information leading to her recovery is in no way comparable to her true value. I'm asking that if anyone has any information or citing that you do the right thing and report it to the police. We also ask the public to keep Bunny Whaler, aka Jabi, his wife, Sister Jean, and the rest of our family in their prayers as we continue to search and focus on the recovery of our beloved father. Maxine Stowe did not immediately respond to requests for comments on Asedenaki's statement, which was signed, Long Live the Legend, One Heart Abidja Asedenaki. We hope that the family and Bunny Whaler's manager are able to settle this without tearing each other apart. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Please subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video. So this is the first time? This is the first time I've ever seen the high grade being treated in this kind of a manner that I think is very scientific. And if this is the way we're going to be doing it, then we're going forward ever. Backward, never. Take it. Take it. Real. Real. <laughs> I like that. Give it a more seconds.